Oh good, we found him. Uh-huh, we did. So this is what you want us to look at? Yeah, because I want you to see how bold, how bold, how bold that word it is. Why you said that word? Because I can. Be because I said that word because it says bad words, but at least it censorship them. So you guys are going to have to deal with this stupid documentary that he reviews. Now, bye. Uh, okay. Before you... I am so excited. Today we're going to be looking... You, you didn't lower it down. I'm sorry. Anyways, hello everyone. I'm Mitzi. I'm the Torbosaurus. And we're, today we're going to be asking to... Um, Valley of the T-Rex. Right here, guys. Press the button. Okay. So, bye. So, bye. I am so excited. Today we're going to be looking at planet dinosaurs. I thought we were going to be so looking at Valley of awesome. T-Rex. There's so much to love about this. It, it was made by the same people who made Walking with Dinosaurs. So Ooh, that's a good thing. Nice. So let's just let's just get straight into it. So the show consists what? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean that's not the right one? What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? The wrong file. Okay. What? So I guess I go into oh, today's the review. File. No, no. What? What the heck is that? Why do we sound? Why does my kind sound like a bear? I have no idea. Yes, unfortunately, we're looking at Valley of the T Rex. I'm not excited. <laughs> Discovery's second dinosaur documentary after when dinosaurs roamed America. I mean, you can pretty much oh, tell the whole style of this documentary and all the models. Are pretty much the same from Dinosaurs Roamed America. I mean, they mm. even reuse a lot of shots from when Dinosaurs Roamed America. Basically, the uh, reason this documentary got made is basically so Jack Horner can piss uh, in the face of all the people that believe T Rex is a predator. His whole theory on T Rex is that T Rex was purely a scavenger. Which what? Just what? 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 And I know I'm not the only one. Now, since this you is only one, one individual episode, I will be looking at it like I did with Tarbosaurus the Mightiest Ever. So, let's just get into Valley of the T-Rex. I rather not. For over a hundred years, we've lived with the image. Yeah, and I think we should stick with that image, because I think no one wants to see T-Rex like this. Yeah. Jack Horner is on the trail of a 65 million year old mystery in search of the real Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this is what he will most likely find. Yep. You know, since this Archive was covered in feathers. so much bullshit. I'm just going to do a counter called the bullshit counter. Uh. Basically, if there's a part in this documentary that's just too bullshit to ignore, I'm just going to count it on the list and also explain why it's bullshit. Tyrannosaurus is always trying to eat everything else mm. in sight. It's interesting, except scientifically speaking, no one's ever challenged the idea that T-Rex was a predator. And in fact, no one... Have you not seen the movie, you idiots? ...even had evidence to suggest that it was a predator. Oh yeah, guys, so you remember that scene in Walking with Dinosaurs, the most accurate dinosaur documentary ever created? Yeah, that was crap. That was, that, they were lying to you. T-Rex did not hunt a Napa Titan. They just found them dead. Screw that. Why did Because that's actually how T-Rex got back up. Well, it's true. For most of the 20th century, Tyrannosaurus Rex was seen as the savage, upright predator. What the f is going on? Oh, we said it at the same time. They jump around. They tip over, they hit the ground, they jump back up again, they fight some more. Tremorous Rex couldn't do that. Then why are you showing the exact way it would have got back up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do you show the exact same way that it got back up? And do you, have you seen the documentary Dinosaur Revolution? 
we went like that, and then, and then they got back. I want to hear the babies crying. And then, and then when in Jurassic World Evolution, we were asleep. So how do you expect? And then you see us get up. Oh wait, he didn't know about it, so he's an idiot. Grab anything. Can't even put his hands together. Can't reach his mouth. Can't do anything but scratch his belly. And there are you little piece of stop. You know, I think you don't need arms when you have some of the world's largest teeth and mm -hmm. some of the world's most powerful jaws. Yeah. Can't do anything but scratch his belly. <laughs> No, it's not. It could literally yeah. just force itself back up again. Get yeah. one on the bullshit meter. Yeah. But the dinosaurs that I think are the good predatory dinosaurs, things like Deinonychus and Velociraptor and Sauron and Thalestes. Every and so forth, carnivore is a predator. Small. So this is what you say in a nutshell. Basically, if you're a sort of raptor dinosaur or a smaller type of predator, then congratulations. You are a true hunter. You actually fight for prey. You don't just scavenge. You always hunt for prey and always do your best. But if you're a giant predator, fuck you. You're never putting any effort into anything. You are always, always just waiting for another one to kill something and then just go around and take it away from them. You son of a... So that's a two on the counter. Huh. They also Thank have you. laterally compressed teeth, very sharp, serrated. This animal is designed to kill things. Hey, you know who else had big teeth that were serrated and curved backwards? Answer, T-Rex. Who would have saw that come? <laughs> Using that formula, Jack measures T-Rex's legs to see how fast it was. So, I can literally run for 45 miles per hour. Which is the opposite of a fast running animal. It's evidence that I think that Tyrannosaurus rex was either a really slow runner or just a walker. Screw you! With legs that weren't designed for speed and arms that were basically useless, T Rex wasn't able to kill much of anything. The primary weapon of a Tyrannosaurus is its mouth. This jaw can crush me. That's a little. I killed things in Jurassic World Evolution. One bite. T -Rex and I killed the raptors. wasn't able to kill much of anything. T Rex simply didn't have the tools to be a hunter. <laughs> the primary weapon of a Tyrannosaurus is its mouth. Another mark on the counter. Thank you. We have grown up believing that T Rex is a predator, and it's just hard to get over that hump. There's no it hump at all, you but listen, I'm not saying that T-Rex only hunted. I'm not, far from it. I believe that T-Rex would have scavenged, but not all the time. Every Thank single you. predator scavenges. So it's, not, it's very likely that T-Rex would have scavenged, but I don't think it would have purely scavenged. I don't care if T-Rex was a predator. Show me some evidence. <gasps> He wants want some, want some fucking evidence. evidence. Okay. Oh. We now know that T Rex had he powerful binocular vision. This gave it the ability to maintain focus on a moving target. Yes. Oh, and another thing. Every single environment needs an apex predator to kill off all the herbivores. Yes. If there's no apex predator, then the environment won't survive. And we know for a fact that T Rex was the largest predator of its time. There are there's no evidence of bigger predators that lived with T Rex. Well, about the like Cretaceous dinosaurs, but we didn't have right here. And also, T Rex is so massive that it had to eat a lot of meat a day. And I don't think it could just find a lot of dead bodies, and that would be enough to feed it for an entire day. And even if it did find enough dead bodies to eat for an entire day. They wouldn't be rich in nutrients, and that would probably just kill off I the always T -Rex. the TV. So it would have to hunt in order to survive. Oh, and also, when it finally brings up the teeth, it doesn't even acknowledge that they're bone crushing or anything. 
So we can just tell by looking at the brain cast that Tyrannosaurus rex did not have much of a sense of sight. But the Tyrannosaurus so family is known to have the best eyesight of any dinosaur. It is known that they could see four miles away. That's another tally on the counter. The best thing that we can say based on the evidence is that T-Rex was 100% scavenger. I'm gonna throw myself off the cliff because I'm made of Lego, so this is gonna kill me. Well, she killed herself. 100% scavenger. 100% scavenger. It's not true. It's bullshit. <laughs> Scavenging Tyrannosaurus comes up to a carcass. The first thing it has to do is chase away whatever is eating it. If I were going to paint a picture of Tyrannosaurus, it would have a red head. What is that? That's not a T-Rex. What the hell is that level? This isn't a T-Rex. It's a freaking Oh, God. Really is is very different than the old idea. We now see an animal that can't run fast. It's got short little arms. Can't really catch anything. It could use other things to catch things. Idiot! Stop using that bear sound effect. <laughs> what a realistic t-rex would be it wouldn't be this it would be this so what i'm getting at is jack horner thinks it's a scavenger because it couldn't see well and because we could see well we could see those raptors distances but by his by his means he's talking about all the t-rexes almost every single tyrannosaur has the same features as t-rex so he's basically saying What, what the hell? Hey! Any way the dig team leaves the site, the plus do f of a dinosaur documentary finally ends. Yes! Body, help me! Shit. And that was Valley of the Tears, yeah. and in my opinion, it sucks. The worst dinosaur documentary I have ever seen. As much as I hate the CGI and models in Tarbosaurus the mightiest ever, what at least it was able animation? to keep the plot moving forward, and at the same time, people who knew nothing about dinosaurs could at least get some education. That does not mean I think Tarbosaurus the mightiest ever is good. Now, you know what? I'm going to stop reacting to this. I'm going to go fix Rexy. Like T Rex not being able to get back up if it fell over. Which I still don't believe, I mean, I think it could have gotten back up. But the idea yes! of T-Rex being... 100% Don't go back to the documentary! He's just complete and utter bull. And also, he's basically saying, like before, he's saying that basically every single Tyrannosaur is a scavenger. And not just every single Tyrannosaur, but every single large predator. Like, that's just, that's just, that's just over the top and far-fetched. Now, let's see what I'm reviewing next time. B, please. Oh, yeah. Actually, our boss has it. See? See?